guys. So what do you think? It's hot. And we're hot flying it. Just missing one thing. Yeah. I swear it'd be easier for me to skin a cow and make my own jump kit than it would be to find a decent girl drummer around here. You wouldn't really skin a cow, would you, Pearl? Hey, did you ask at the store downtown? Only four girls take lessons there. Two are just beginning. One has a band already, and the last has a dad that thinks rock is Satan's stool. So, you know, <laughs> it doesn't have to be a girl. We could use a little testosterone in here. Hey, Steph, I know you'd love it if we stacked cute boys along the back wall, but I really want my music to be empowering to other girls. I have about seven months to the Grammy Camp deadline and a ton of cash to raise. Don't worry, Pearl. Don't make it. Competition is fierce, Carr. And top two campus get to go on tour with Tornado Pilots and Voluminous Hearts for two weeks. And I mean, I have no idea how I'm going to actually raise this money. My dad said he'd cover half, but who knows? How much do you really need? Five thousand. Less the six twelve I've raised over the past ten months. That's like, what, four? We can find a drummer, get a few gigs, and my dad actually comes through with this money. Hey, chatting isn't getting us anywhere. Let's, let's play. Uh, do you want to start at the top of her song? And don't forget, Flossy Frog is your friend. Bye. Sugar? Hmm? I'm having trouble reading one of your codes on this chart. Which one? Um, LB2, blue second by cuspid, DC1 descending, K9. Oh, here. What is this that looks like HDA? Oh, that's a new code. Hot dad alert. Mm-hmm. Seriously? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's hot. Look, I appreciated the bad breath warning, but can you at least find a tiny bit of decorum? I didn't exactly hire you for your name. Oh, no. My mama gave me a perfectly acceptable southern name, and it suits me to a T. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> but a grown woman named Sugarcane in a dentist's office is a bit ironic, don't you think? I know your mama. Mm -hmm. You're lucky she had you 40 years ago, because in her present state, she would have named you Pop Song. But this morning, she asked me to brush the back of her hair with a remote control. Bless her heart. Yeah, well, anyway, no more hot dad alerts. I'm in no position to do anything about it, even if they are single. Listen, you're too young and too pretty to waste away in the mom mobile for the rest of your life. You yeah, know? I like my life, thank you very much. Anyway, keep the codes tooth relevant. We do get audited, you know. Dr. Song's dentist office. Hi. I'm Dr. Song. I'm Colin. This is my daughter, Janice. Nice to meet you, Janice. Hi, I'm Janice, and I was named after the famous musician, Janice Joplin. I love Janice Joplin. Let's take a look. Um, Janice is a little bit nervous about dentists. Mm -hmm. uh, you get recommended on the deaf chat boards. How did you come to learn ASL? Uh, my ex had a little brother that was deaf. It's a comfort to some of my younger patients. Don't talk to my 14-year-old daughter, though. She delights in the fact that her favorite uncle taught her all the bad words in sign language. Well, you uh, have a teenager. Yes, indeed. In fact, well, looks like your dad just earned a lollipop, too. You have grape? What kind of two-bit operation do you think we're running here? I'm not sure. Get to work. Open your mouth. You can sing a Janis Joplin song while mm. we're doing this if you like. Mm -hmm. Great teeth. Who's your dentist? <laughs> Well, Janice, it looks like you need a filling. But I have some giggle juice that will fix you right up and you won't feel a thing. Unless I lose control of my tickle hand. Uh, I will be right back. She seems nice. 
Tell me the truth. Was it you? Did you eat the cookies? I'm not scared, Daddy. She's really nice. Yeah, sweetheart, she, she is really nice. And she has a daughter about the same age as me, and her breath doesn't smell like bologna like Dr. Dustbin's. His name is Dr. Dresslin, and no, she doesn't smell like bologna. And she's single. Did you notice she has an ex? And single. She signs. And she's smart. I noticed. She's really pretty. Did you notice that? Yes, sweetheart. I think Dr. Song is uh, very smart. She's nice, and she's very, very pretty. And she is probably standing right behind me right now, isn't she? Yes, Daddy. You think there's any chance she didn't hear all that? Nope. Hmm. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, I forgot to ask our patient if she prefers bubblegum, peppermint, or chocolate flavor. I think a little troublemaker would like chocolate. Okay. Ready to go. <laughs> Mira, was I wrong? Oh no, mm -hmm. he's very attractive. He's yummy. Did I mention he's a widower? And where did you get that piece of information? Oh, let me so tell you. I want to know what laws you've broken in the interest of playing matchmaker. Ooh, right there. Oh, hey. Hey. Bye, Dr. Song. Yeah, thank you so much. I've never seen my daughter smile leaving the dentist before. Oh, well, she is a joy. And don't forget, Janice, Flossy Frog is your boyfriend. I mean, friend. He's not your boyfriend. That's crazy. I don't know why I... Don't forget to floss. Oh, bye. You've been hitting a Novocaine, dog, because you're drooling a little bit, like right there. What was that? I don't... <laughs> So, um, I was thinking we, maybe we could do coffee sometime, or not. Um, yeah, you, you probably get this all the time. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not good at this. Bye. Well, I'd love to sometime get coffee, sure. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll call you. Okay. Did I just agree to a date? Well, it's hard to say since there really wasn't a complete sentence in the entire exchange. Why did I just say yes? Because he's hot and single. And you haven't gotten any in three years, and Romy, I don't think that's good for you. Stop it. I, I have a very full life. Mm -hmm. Very full, and it's not going anywhere. Look, no one's gonna knowingly take on my lovely baggage. Who said anything about luggage? It's just coffee. And then maybe some dessert later, okay? <laughs> okay, get out of here. <laughs> So, wh what do you do? Oh, I, uh... uh wait, uh, dog manicures with a little brain surgery on the side? Close, yeah, um, no. Uh, I, uh, I opened up my own gym about a year ago, and, uh, I used to be an MMA fighter. I decided to finally pursue my dreams, I guess. For you. I mean, that's brave, with a kid, too, to take a chance like that. <sighs> yeah, sometimes... Stepping out of that ring makes me feel old, but most of the time, makes me feel younger. It's kind of like parenting. Yeah, but with far less bruises and a lot less tears. Which? Parenting or martial arts? <laughs> parenting. Super tough. Mm-hmm. I haven't done this dating thing in a long time. Oh my. You thought this was a date? Yeah, I mean, I thought, um, I'm kidding. No, I, I, 
I make stupid jokes when I'm nervous. I haven't done this in a while either. We'll get through it together. So, uh, I know you're a dentist, um, unless that's just a front for your real gig, you know, touring ventriloquist act with Flossie the Frog. Busted. <laughs> oh, come on, old man. You're gonna have to lay off your kids' happy meals if you want to keep up. Flatten off punks bigger than you long before you had your first burger. <laughs> you know what? Tell me how old you are. Not just snap this, come back. True. So, sh sh did I tell you I went on a date last night? Date? <clears throat> <clears throat> you know what? I might be a little punch drunk from that uh, kick, but I thought you said something about a date. Yeah, you did. <laughs> wow, really? All right. So you tell me after all this time that I've been trying to help you out, help you get hooked up, you figured it out for yourself. Yeah. That's awesome, man. <laughs> okay, well then hold on me. Uh, give me the deets. What's going on? Um, I met her when I took Janice to the dentist. Oh, picking up ladies in the waiting room. That is some advanced stuff. No, uh, she actually was the dentist. <laughs> Even better. Picking up doctors, that's dope. Congrats. All right, well, million dollar question. Uh, does she know? Oh, no, no, way too early. Uh, I mean, I, I know it's impossible, but it's nice to sit down and talk to a grown up for a change. Dude, no, no, someone not trying to punch my face in. <laughs> well, you know what? She's a woman, give her time. Oh. All right, well, Tell me more about her. What, what is she like? Is, is she hot? How old is she? More importantly, does she have a gullible younger sister that I can, you know? She's gorgeous. And, uh, 40-ish, I'd say. Smarter than me, like Sarah. Well, to your credit, you have taken a few more shots to that. <sighs> so, when's the next date? I don't know. How long are you supposed to wait anyways? My man? You've come to the right place for advice about the ladies, all right? Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. I, this first really things first, all right? You gotta stop being so nice all the time, all right? Dude, like, I get it, that's part of your character. It's, it's lovely, but women like guys who have a little bit more mystery going on, a little more edge, all right? Stop, stop with the nice guy stuff, all right? Okay. I, I mean, I've been out of the game for a minute, but I think women like nice still. And I'm um, pretty sure they don't like being called chicks. <sighs> Whatever, man, okay? I right, just... Number two is your wardrobe, all right? First of all, pick something that looks like it came from this decade. <laughs> Second of all, show off those guns, dude. Oh, God. Women love muscles, all right? You know, show off the six-pack or... All right, my bad, but you know what I'm saying. Just bring her to the gym. She'll love that. See you flex and fight and stuff. Uh, so here's what I think. I think your advice is about as on point as your head kick and your sparring game. So I say we get back to working on that. Right. So there was all this excitement and then nine years later, it was all gone. Hollywood stopped calling. Grandma got sick. We moved back to Michigan. Dad tried to revive his career, but mom didn't want to move back to LA. And she eventually, she just moved to Sweden. Oh my gosh, that's unbelievable. Can't make this stuff up. But Mr. Bunsen is your dad? Yeah. TV's most lovable science teacher. Right? God, my, huh. My brother-in-law, Adam, was obsessed with the scientific method. He, he used to beg us to watch it with him every Saturday. It's crazy. Those episodes still air 30 years later. Dad can't even walk down the street without getting mugged for pictures and autographs. But to tell you the truth, he, he loves it. I mean, but that must have been a shadow. I mean, to a kid like Adam, your dad was like this perfect adult with all the answers. Always there for those misfit kids, but in reality, it must have been hard to share your dad. It's funny, most people don't get that. But yeah, when we moved back to Michigan, being Sam Bennett's son was a reason to get picked on. He used to call me Hollyweird. But uh, that's what got me into martial arts, to stand up for myself. So when or I became a dentist? Oh, 
It was good. It was fast. I know. Are you talking about the fighting? It's funny how those certain moments in your childhood change your path. So you became a dentist to extract the teeth of your enemies? Well, yeah, <laughs> that, of course. But no, no, I mean, that 1983 blizzard when everything closed down for a week. Um, my dad started reading Pearl S. Buck's The Good Earth Allowed by the Fire. And the lights and the heat came back on, but we were so into it. We, we spent every night after that huddled around a candle listening. <laughs> That's a really beautiful memory. Yeah. And in hindsight, it explains my fascination with Asian and other cultures. It was like, it was this whole other world no one knew anything about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I have a daughter named Pearl. No. Yeah. Did I tell you she's from China? Uh, no. Um, mm -hmm. Did I tell you Janice is adopted? Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. It's the best thing I ever did. Kids. Kids. Mm. 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 Oh, I gotta go. My kids' swim party just ended. Okay. Um, we should do this again. I'd like that. <laughs> All right. Bye. All right. I think I was going to answer any of your seven texts while I'm on a date. Hey. I am like Dr. Frankenstein and you are my creation. So, it went really, really well. But, um, I, I gotta tell her soon. Oh, no, 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 too soon, too soon. Yeah, but it's not fair. I, I feel like I'm lying. She, she left her phone behind. No, no, that's good. I know that trick. That's a whole leave something behind trick. She has to see you now. Yeah, no, but she said she was going to go pick up her kid. And and this is from some dude named Paolo. It's saying, are you coming? I'm ready now. So here I am worried about whether or not I'm telling her the truth and she's rushing off to meet some Latin lover. Dude, harsh. Yeah, well, so much for re-entering the dating scene. This is obnoxious, dude. I can't, like, <laughs> seriously. Uh, hi, is this... Okay, you need to chill about this, Blair, all right? You've been single for, what, three days? Hold, oh, please. Stranger danger. There's this random dude at the door. I don't know, he's kind of cute for an old dude. Screenshot this old geezer in case he's here under nefarious purposes. I gotta go, all right? Later. Um, so... I'm pretty sure this- Oh, Zot voice. Who's the old dude? Are you really getting desperate enough to open your dating pool to senior citizens? Smart. I'm pretty sure I have the right house and you're- Tony said she was gonna cut off my hair and make a bro rug out of it. I like my hair and I don't think it would make a very good rug. I wasn't actually going to do it. It was just a science experiment. Tony, what science experiment would involve you threatening your sister with household utensils? We're studying bees. Bees teach us a valuable lesson. You might be small. You might be tiny in a world full of giants. Yes. When you chase somebody with a sharp object, people will still run away. You guys, I'm trying to get the baby down. I'm not a baby, Emmy. I know, Theodore, you're a big boy. Sorry, Em. I'll get things sorted. Night, night, Theo. Night, night. Don't let the dead bugs bite. That's bed bugs, Theo, not dead bugs. If they were dead bugs, they couldn't even bite. There is live bugs in the bed. No, baby, it's an expression. Oh, I'm not a baby, Emmy. I know, Theo. I know. Has somebody fed the cat? 
Grandma, we don't have a cat. Oh, did he die? Why wasn't I told? No, we've never had a cat, Grandma. Oh, well. Good. Insufferable beasts. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure this is the red house, your pearl, and this is Susan Song's house, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Who are you? Um, Cole? What are you doing here? Um... Uh, hi. Who's that, Mom? Give Mommy a moment, Paolo. Uh, go change into some dry PJs, okay, sweetie? Yo, campers, what's everybody doing out here? Paolo is your son? Yes, I'm sorry, I... Why are you here? How did you find our house? <laughs> you left your phone behind and uh, you told me about your sub and, and the Buddha statue. I'm, st I'm still confused. Kids, please go inside. Mommy needs to have a chat with Mr. Bennett. Mom, how many of them are you? All of them. I didn't think you would consider I'm sorry. Look, I understand if you want to run. I, I don't blame you. I, I know it's crazy. No one in this day and age has seven kids. It's a lot. But they're all perfect. And, and this is my life. And I know I, I should have told you, but I just, I. I haven't met anybody in the past three years that made me feel beautiful <laughs> or funny. And you're perfect. But I know, I know this is impossible. Uh, Why are you laughing? Is this a picture of your youth class at the gym? Are you offering us a package deal? <laughs> I don't think that's funny or very appropriate right now. I know I should have told you I probably deserve to be mocked, but... <laughs> oh. Oh, God. That... That's Janice. Yeah. Look, I, I didn't know how to tell you. I thought you would just run away. They're all yours? Seven? <laughs> I, I, I guess we're both crazy. <laughs> Certifiably. You know what's even crazier? What? <laughs> Cole, I can't do this. I mean, it's lovely. You're lovely, but seriously. I know it's only been two weeks, but I, I think I'm falling in love. No, no, no. Don't finish that. We have a lot in common. Granted, a lot more than we both bargained for, but we're adults with responsibilities. A lot of responsibilities. Yeah, but we're human beings too. I have a house full of human beings whose dad left because I think I can I think I can take care of the world. I can't just waltz another man in and out of their lives. I could thank you for a lovely couple of weeks, but I can't, I can't do this.
so um, you're dating. Yeah. I mean, no, I mean, oh God, it was just, it was just a few dates. Anyway, I just ended it, so. It didn't look like a goodbye. Well, why? Is it us? Yeah, partially. You guys are my world. You know you're entitled to a world outside of us, right? You're okay with this? Yeah, you're not? I don't know, it's just a lot to take in, I guess. I mean, <laughs> I'm almost 15 and my mom's been on more dates this year than I have my entire life, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, I ended it. It's complicated. Well, isn't it always what involves boys? <laughs> what would you know, small bean? I live on planet Earth bean pole. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, what's the scoop? Oh, ladies, buckle up. I think this is going to require some ice cream and a pajama dance party and some... Oh, too bad your girls are too young for wine. Sip. No. <sighs> Whatever. One, two. One, two, three. Hey, there you go. work. All right, man. See you later. Hey, thanks for taking the kids out to dinner. Son, you don't have to thank me for spending time with the best grandkids on the planet. They were like wild animals, though. Fortunately, I've got a degree in lion taming. Gee, Pa, I was a good girl, was I? You were an angel, sunshine. What about me? You were a dream, Peanut. You guys know he only calls us by these nicknames because he can't keep our real names straight? That is possible. Ingot, Irma, Gertrude. What are your names again? <laughs> <sighs> I just, I rolled so hard I burned off half of my dinner. How was first day of second grade? A oh, hot mess. <laughs> hey, uh, been a tribe. How y'all doing? How's my favorite uh, bunch of savages, huh? Excellent, Christopher. I'm president of the MAP Metathlon team and treasurer of the junior chemist this year. Oh, wow, that's, um, ambitious. What's going on, Tope? Hey, man. You know me, just, uh, punching and posing. So how's everyone feel about the old man dating? Um, they, uh, they didn't know about it till just now, thanks, but it's over anyways. Actually, I was having an interesting conversation with Janice about that very thing at dinner. Oh yeah? Yeah, really. She said you asked out her dentist and you were stuttering the whole time. Really, Dad? You used to do that with Mom all the time, remember that, guys? <laughs> yeah, and where do you think I got that from? Listen, let's not make a big deal out of it. I mean, she was... She was amazing, but it's over, and I don't have time for this anyway, so I have my tribe to tame, and I have the gym to run. Chris, you got a second? Kids, would you go with Chris? Son. Sarah left you with a big responsibility and clear instructions to be happy. Yeah, but she, she dumped me. I mean, kind of. It's complicated. Women are complicated. Life is always complicated with women. But there is life after Sarah. Sarah and I were once in a lifetime. And besides, I'm not lonely. Really? I saw the way you looked when you were talking about her. Find her. Tell her. Or you'll regret it, son. The things we leave unsaid foretell volumes about the future. Did I tell you she has seven kids? <laughs> seven? Fourteen? Who cares? You're a great dad. Besides, these kids deserve to see you happy. You're right, Dad. <laughs> Fourteen? Fourteen. <laughs> Here, I've got a plan. <laughs> Okay. I enjoyed you want to count one? Wait, who was it? 
the strange, loping creatures who had found their way to the fiery place some years before, accounted as a good friend we there. Are not alone. So, Da, what do you think? Oh, I think it's brilliant, Pearl. Thanks. Here, I should hand you off. I've been hoarding you. As usual. Well, there's something I really had to talk to everyone about. So I met someone I like a lot. A girl here in Peru. And it's kind of serious. That's cool, Dad. Mom's been seeing someone too. No, she hasn't. I mean, she did for like three seconds. Well, I want you all to meet her soon. Are you flying home? Well, no, I can't really. You'll meet her online next time. Mari's excited to meet you guys, but nervous, so be nice. Hey, we're always nice here. I'm always nice here. Case be for the rest of these weirdos. All right, well, I gotta run. No crazy stories this time? Oh, man, B, I'm late, but remind me to tell you about the sloths in my hammock Tuesday. Bye. 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 Well, we should get immunized. Looks like this love thing is contagious. Dr. Song, you have a surprise inspection from the HDA at reception. Sugar? Hmm? Can you please pull out our ADA compliance and bring them back to my... I thought you said ADA. No. No, I said HDA, which as you might recall means hot dad alert. You, you must have just heard me wrong or something. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to call you. Nicole, I thought it was clear. There's nothing to discuss. Yeah, but uh, something I need to say. Okay. I'm not your ex-husband. I know this, Cole. Yeah, but it doesn't change. No, but, but it should. Because you walked away based on the possibility that I would make the same selfish choice as he did. And I don't, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not exactly irresponsible. I know. I was married for 20 years to a wonderful woman. And, and we brought each and every one of these kids into our hearts together. And when she died, Part of me died. But you're not Sarah. Okay. At least we agree on that. Look, Cole. I know you're hurt, but but no, no it no. doesn't. Susan, it, this let, isn't. Let me finish. I know how lucky I was. A lunkhead like me with a woman like that, kind and smart and lovely. I would never feel that way again, but. It's okay, because of the kids. I understand. Until I kissed you. Mm. You didn't tell me you two kissed? You didn't tell me that? Sugar? Huh? I think maybe you can go ahead and go now. Just when it starts getting good, you tell me to leave, huh? Okay, yeah. okay. I'm leaving. Okay. Adios. Adios. Mm -hmm. Buenos noches. Buenos noches. Ay, ay. What was I saying? Um, I don't know. <laughs> when I kissed you and, and you kissed me back, I, I knew I was wrong. And I came to tell you. And you have. And I came to tell you that, that I was wrong about not being able to fall in love again. You're not Sarah. You're Susan. And I love how you talk fast when you're nervous and, and how you try to fix the whole world. And I love how you find beauty where others don't. And I love how you search people's faces for meaning. Like you can tell more than what they're actually saying. Kind of like what you're doing right now. This is crazy. Yeah. You know, you're right about searching faces. I knew everything I needed to know about you the first hour over coffee. You, 
You're, you're the kind of smart that knows the important things books don't teach you. You, you fight for things that matter. You, this is crazy. Certifiably. I, I, I can't just go off on dates with little ones at home. No, you, you can't go off anytime. I don't want to date you, Susan. Oh, you don't? No. I, I want to marry you. Cole? You can't mean this. We, we've got 14 kids. We, we've only known each other for a few months. You, you, you've got your practice and I've got my business and... and... It's different. Thank you, but it's still pretty rough. Can you help? My focus is off. You? You're like a smart, more focused than a, a really intelligent laser beam. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, but I don't know. My life is just weirder than usual. Must be a boy. Spill girlfriend. <laughs> it's a boy, all right. Do you remember that guy you saw on my porch a few months ago? Yeah, okay. You got a serious daddy complex. He was hot, but ancient. Ugh, no, <laughs> no, not me, Taco Brain. My mom. <laughs> She's like seriously in love. Aw, old people love. Gives me hope of not dying an old maid. <laughs> You're 15 and on your like 10th boyfriend. True, but you on the other hand. Hey, look, I have my music. Speaking of which, help me with this bridge. Okay, so... There's a piece that's missing, a past still hidden No easy answers to questions unbidden And I try to find a new way Try to find a new way The rhyming and rhythm scheme is kind of off. I think we should play around with it. Okay. Yeah. Did you find any tapers this week? No such luck this week, sweetheart. But I did get some sweet shots of a jaguar on the hunt. Stalking a wild pig. Hmm. Did it end well? Well, it depends on your perspective. The jaguar are the pigs. Everyone has to eat, right? Oh, gross. I don't want to know. Hey, guys. Dad's on the phone. Well, I think it's fascinating. Part of nature, right, Dad? Did you get the kill shot? You're twisted. Of course. So is everyone there? Well, I mentioned that I was seeing someone, and it's gotten quite serious. And I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be moving in with Mari and help run a ranch in Peru. Wow, that's huge. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm settling down a bit in my old age. How is this going to work with the magazine? You need to be able to take off on a moment's notice to chase down pics. Well, I quit. What? Are you serious? You love your work. How are you going to make a living? Well, from the ranch. It'll be a struggle at first. I won't make as much. But I'm not going to be on the road all the time anymore. I'm going to be settled in one place. Yeah, like... A thousand miles from your family. Well, Mari is my family too, Pearl. I'm gonna marry her. What? Sorry. I meant for that information to come out differently. But yeah, congratulate me. I'm getting married. Congratulations, Dad. Is she nice, Daddy? 
Ah, uh, the best, B. I want you all to meet her soon. When are you coming? Well, I'm in online. I can't afford travel for a while. It's not gonna be a lot of extras this year. What about Grammy Camp? You promised. Oh man, sweet pea. Not this year. We have some serious financial investments on the farm. Well, I'm happy for you. Thanks. So, who wants to hear about the sloth in my hammock? feeling like the cheese of the rat today. Oh my goodness. You're Mr. B I mean, Sam Bennett. <laughs> it, it's nice to meet you in person. Nice to meet you, Miss Saul. I hear you've made quite an impression on my boy. Oh, well, I suppose so, but then again, he's easily impressed. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. So, you're famous for your perfect advice. You got any suggestions for meeting the kids? Huh. Yes. Don't look them directly in the eye. They can smell fear. It's kind of like blood in the water. Okay, yeah. You're not really making me feel any calmer about this. <laughs> <laughs> look, they love their dad. You make their dad happy. What else does anyone need to know? Hey, Grandpa. Hey, Dylan. It's so nice to meet you. Dylan, I'm gonna leave this lovely lady with you because I need to change clothes for a news interview. Okay. Good luck, Susan. Thanks. How are classes going? School's never really been my strong suit, but a college dormitory is a lot quieter than living here. Mm. Can I get you something to drink? Wine? Beer? No. No? No, I don't drink very much. But some water would be nice. Certainly. Yo, Miles, Frank, come say hello. This is Dr. Song. Good evening, Dr. Song. Hi. Please, call me Susan. I have heard so much about you two little geniuses. Well, speak up, boys. I was just gonna get Susan a glass of water. Here. Oh, uh, no, you've got it. How about a cup of blackberry tea? Janice and Anna just made a pitcher. Sure, that sounds lovely. Yeah, we'll go get that. Daddy will be home any minute. You're pretty. Oh, thank you. So are you. Thanks. Jimmy? <laughs> and that little cutie must be Billy. Which would make you... Etta? <laughs> She's been like a lion all day. Well, lions are my favorite. I like orangutans. Want to see me be like one? I would like nothing better than that. Ooh, ooh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is delicious, girls. I feel like I know each of you. Your dad is so proud of you all. So we know you're a dentist and all. I guess you must have a perfect teeth. <laughs> well, that doesn't always go hand in hand. I had a dentist as a child with a mouthful of fillings. Sorry to leave you to the wolves, but I'm here now. Better late than ever. And it looks like I'm a little late. Someone care to explain? It's a medical. We've been getting along great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you have, but uh, someone had a little bit of fun at your expense, and uh, we're gonna need some toothpaste, a toothbrush, Edda, fetch supplies. It, it's just food dye. <laughs> a lot of food dye. <laughs> Yeah. 
Ah, yeah. And maybe a little baking soda as well. Oh, and boys, if you're thinking a little, sorry, a lot of food dye is going to scare me away, you're seriously underestimating my capacity for vengeance. Yeah, baking soda on the double. Uh, good luck, boys. And here I thought they liked me. Oh, no. You, you were. I mean, if they didn't like you, your hair probably be falling out right about now. You know what? I do look good. Sure. Give me a kiss. No, 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 yeah. no. Mom, stop moving, okay? You're gonna look like a clown. I can't help it. I'm nervous. You got cold feet, we can call it off. Nope. Sorry, Pearl, but this is happening. There's no going back now. Why, you're not pregnant, are you? <laughs> Did you hear from your dad yet? No. Change your subject. Pearl. He has to be able to have some life of his own. I know. I was just really counting on him, but... I figured this out myself. Okay, like... It's fine. Like... Well, Mom, you deserve to have your own life, too. And today is your day. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry, Mom. You look beautiful. Let's see. Something borrowed, something blue, something old. Oh, Mom, did you find Grandmommy's locket yet? Locket? You, you know, my mother had the prettiest locket. I think I had it here in my purse earlier. <laughs> That's what you're meant to be looking for. Do you need any help? What is this? It's a whisker. been nesting in this bag. Grandma, we don't have a cat. Well, you know, on the television last night, there was a lion, and this woman in a kimono killed it with those video game guns. And then she put the lion's whiskers in her soup. <laughs> What a lovely seat. Did you buy this chair, Susan? No, Mom. <laughs> now, which of you girls is getting married? I am, Mom. You're not pregnant, are you? No, Mom. Good. I'm too young to be a grandmother, you know. <laughs> well, it looks like it's time for you to be getting into that dress. Yep. All right. Well, this is it. Yeah. <sighs> quick. Group hug before I'm surrounded by 20 yards of satin. <laughs> I mean, quick. Group hug before I'm surrounded by 20 yards of tool. <laughs> <laughs> What a lovely locket. This looks just like my mother's. I wonder how this got in here. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed are those who gather, for life is full of firsts. And for this family, the surprises are just the beginning. And I am certain that life, from this day forward, for this family be full of surprises. Shall we get to it? Please. Who here gives this woman to wed this man? I. We
one one more trip and then we got it and then we got some serious unpacking to do can't we just get takeout start tomorrow uh you wish <laughs> can't we just live in the backyard and start next year yes no 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 hi I'm Stevie Hawkins White, and uh, these are my daughters, Elizabeth and Woodford. Oh, hi. Hi, you must be our neighbor. Uh, I'm Susan Song. I mean, Susan Bennett Song. This is my husband, Cole Bennett Song. My grandfather built your house. Well, his workers did. I'm the president of the Homeowners Association, so we just wanted to welcome you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, appreciate it. And um, I also brought over the HOA bylaws, so please make sure you read them. Okay, thanks. Hey, Jules, can you put this in the study in the home filing cabinet? Jules, it's such an interesting name. I mean, what girl doesn't like diamonds? Oh, it's, it's J-U-L-E-S, after Jules Verne. Uh, is that an actress? No, he wrote 10,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I don't really read that much, I'm always on the go, you know? You're really lucky that your daughter has so many friends to help you with the move. Yeah, um... They're all ours. <laughs> no, really, they're, they're all ours. You're kidding. <laughs> Happily. I mean, we're, we're still getting used to it. We, we just got married last week. <sighs> wow. That, that's, that's a lot. Like eight of them? Uh, yes. Fourteen? Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's my little jumping bean right now. Hey. I'm not a jumping bean, Daddy. I'm a girl. I have a vagina. Oh, yeah, right. Um, uh, Billy, say hi to Mrs. Miss Whitehawk. Mrs. Hawkins White. Daddy doesn't have a vagina. He's a boy. Hi, Daddy. Right, sweetie. It's a vagina, Mama. <sighs> wait, wait. Well, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think, uh, think we're going to get an invitation from Mrs. Hawkins White to the Yacht Club for our family this weekend? I wouldn't go off, start blocking off your social engagement calendar anytime soon. Oh, man. All right, Slacker. Back to work. Come on. I like the new crib, girl. Yeah? It's, uh, it's cool. I'm a little crowded. <laughs> Instruments in the garage, right? Yeah. Did you see that? That looks promising. Promising? Looks like every Christmas wish come true. What? Is that your new brother? Yeah. All three of them. Well, Dylan's actually really nice, but way too old for you. And Miles, the second one, is a total geek. But the pale one has taken up half of one of the bedrooms with enough technology to launch NASA and has the same sparkling personality as his robots. Dylan, huh? How about Hattie McHatness? How do you live in a house with a teen version of Johnny Depp without breaking all laws of nature? Down, girl. I don't think they were talking about the hot stepbrother. Did you see what they were carrying to the garage? Besides my neatly packaged heart? No. A drum kit, and a nice one at that. I vote that we can forget about this girl drummer thing. If he's good, he's in. I really wanted to stick to an all-girl band. Hey, but you said there aren't any decent girl drummers around. Oh, and um, I think there's something you guys should know. Not now at all, okay, please. We're in the middle of something. Whatever. Look, you're always saying that we should be trying to sell diversity and story. I mean, and he's your brother, right? And Romanian. You know what? Fine. But he has to be really good or- I told you you guys want to know. Janice, how can you? Like, I had no idea you're so good. So, I mean, do you think you could hold down a beat with a full band? No, I miss cues. If I can't do what you guys are all playing... Oh, yeah. Well, that's okay, sis. Well, what if you could see it? How? Even if someone was right in front of me, I would be able to see every note over the kit. 
Well, I could hook up the other instruments to an adapted music program, and Miles could help me with the coding. You'd see color-coded notes and rhythms on a screen right next to you, in real time. You would do that for us? <laughs> no. But I'd do it for her. If she wants me to. Yes! Thank you! Looks like we found a drummer. And a sweet story, too. Uh, I mean, if Robot and Brainy, I can get this to work. <laughs> we got a drummer! Oh my god, this is gonna work! Yes. It's gonna work! Finally. We're gonna make the deadline. <laughs> I know. Uh, no, I'm not sure Hey, what can I do for you? Um, I was just wondering if you've read the HOA bylaws. Uh, no, we, we've been swamped, so maybe you can sum up the highlights. The highlights are that you have to read the HOA bylaws. It's all very important. In the meantime, there is a noise ordinance. Did I scream too loud when I smashed my thumb with a hammer earlier? It's 62 decibels, and the sounds coming out of the garage far exceeds that. 62. Uh, sounds like I'm gonna have to put a muffler on my lawnmower. Um, I'll, I'll insulate the walls in the garage, uh, but let me hang my curtains and let me uh, put some beds together because I'm sure you don't want me walking by the windows in my skibbies, right? Funny. Um, please, just have your children quiet down. Sure. My daughter, though, she has a music deadline, so um, I'll have them stop by eight. These are quiet estate homes, not Bourbon Street whiskey halls. Let me assure you, I put strict limits on the amount of whiskey that my kids can drink. Your jokes aren't going to work with me. Good day. Hey, can one of you tell me why I found holes with scorch marks on the back end of both of your jeans? <laughs> we were lighting each other's parts. <laughs> yeah, it kind of got out of hand. You know how it is. Uh-huh. And I don't suppose either of you know how we ended up with a dead frog in the washing machine? Oh, no. Bob is... Nope, definitely not. We have no knowledge of just frog. Yep. Nothing. Uh-huh. And Tony, I just got milk out of the family room carpet. Will you stop letting the dog lick milk from your mouth? But she likes it! Dude, that's nasty! Yeah, well, you're the one that peed in the backyard! Paolo, please! Mrs. White is developing an entire dossier on our family and probably has hidden cameras installed. What's a dossier? Never mind, just come indoors when you need to pee, please. Please? Please? Well, someone is up from her nap. Where's Pearl? She's in the garage. Did you get into the birthday cupcake, sweetie? It was an accident. I'm going to be four. Really, an accident? I think the dog did it. The dog, huh? Well, let's get you a bath. No, Pearl. Pearl can help me. Really? Okay. Let's go find your sister. Hello? Hey. They called you in too? Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know why they'd bug you at work. I said I'd be here. <sighs> Maybe Pearl pushed them to call me. Pearl, what does she have to do with this? She and Tony are the ones in trouble. Jimmy's fine. <laughs> Jimmy? I'm, he I'm here for miles. What? Mr. Bennett, we have a strict policy on inappropriate language. Okay. Miles is an excellent student, but I cannot exempt him from the rules. I understand I'm just not used to him being a rule breaker. What exactly were the offending remarks? For the purpose of enlightening your father, you can repeat the joke. It was a science joke. Snowmen have snowballs. What do snowwomen have? What? Snow furries. <laughs> <laughs> See? It's funny. Uh, it does show a good understanding of uh, human biology and puns. The discussion of one's private parts, whether in jest or not, is a violation of the respect code, Mr. Bennett. 
Yeah, but he said snowballs. I'm, I'm sure an otherwise well-adjusted student could say tennis balls or chicken breast without the PC police carrying them off to juvie. Context is important, but I can't make exceptions. Look, this is just a meeting, no permanent record. Can you please just bring him home and have a conversation with him about filters and boundaries in school? Certainly, Ms. Anderson. Um, I apologize for the trouble. Thank you for your time, Mr. Bennett. So? Oh, no biggie. Um, they said to talk to Miles about boundaries and filters. You? Really? I know, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, apparently Tony hit both of these boys. Two dudes. <laughs> Why? They were calling Jimmy bad names, like racial stuff. And she was really scared. She was trapped. And I was really mad. Okay, now I, I understand that you'd be angry, but just because you get mad doesn't mean you can hit people. Um, you know, what I do when I get mad is I take a deep breath and then I Blow it out slowly while I count to ten, like this. How does blowing on them help? All you need to do is meet hate with love. When you love your enemies, they become your friends. Wow, that is wise, Paolo. That doesn't mean you should smooch them, though. That would be gross. Yeah, um, so what are you here for? <laughs> Witness for a defense, man. And you? Paula ran to get me and I told them if they wanted to mess with my little sister, they were going to have to go through me. I don't see a problem with that. I, I may have implied that I'm an Asian karate ninja that knows how to rip out the hearts of my enemies. Uh, okay, now that's terrifying. And? And I may have called them racist little punk ass bitches. Ooh. Okay. Listen, I think it's wonderful that you both stood up for Jimmy, but we need to understand that there's an appropriate way to deal with things in school. Tonight, I think we need to have a family chat about boundaries. Now, the standard in these situations is to speak with the victims of school violence first. Excuse me, victims? You are aware that your daughter hit both of these boys. They were calling my sister names and made her cry. Tony, I'm sure you've heard the expression sticks and stones. Now, name calling is never an excuse for physical violence. No, sometimes they hit a lot harder. Look, I understand that you have your policies, I really do, but you gotta understand that we live in a world where a lack of respect for cultural identity is staring up a hornet's nest. I, I, I'm not sure what you're saying. They called her by a racial slur that marginalizes her birth culture. Mr. Bennett, I think you're being a little sensitive. Jimmy is an American. <laughs> She's always lived here. Not always. And that doesn't mean that she doesn't feel or understand the sting of those words. He also told her that her real daddy, Kumar, was going to come take her to live at 7-Eleven. If you don't understand the girl who's lost both of her birth parents and then her real mother to cancer, is gonna feel real pain when somebody implies that they're gonna take her away from her family, then you don't understand an eight-year-old child. Is this true, Donald? Mike? We didn't hit anybody. She did. Some black kid comes out of nowhere claiming to be her sister, and then this oriental girl starts yelling bad words. It's Asian, you Neanderthal. So you're concerned with Donnie making a childish joke about convenience store owners? but not with this girl calling our son's names after her so-called sister punched them? So-called? If you think Pearl's language after they used racial slurs is somehow more offensive than your so-called response? Look, I'm not defending the violent response, but I will not tolerate anyone implying that we are not a real family. Okay, okay, there are a lot of feelings in this room right now, but I'm sorry. My hands are tied when it comes to physical violence. A Tony will be suspended for two days, and Pearl won for her language. And Donald and Mike will be suspended for one day as well for their language. 
Oh, come on. Suspended? I hope you all take this opportunity to think about the power of your words. I know I will. No. No. I, uh... I took a half day to get my mom to the doctor. Yeah. Well, I let the nanny off and kept Theo and Billy at home. Mm -hmm. No one here seems to recognize that this is a crisis situation. Well, Mom's taking the littles to the park so I can finish up some paperwork at home before I have to pick up Frank from robotics, Jimmy up from violin, and somebody else from something. I think the FBI's been rooting through her cabinets again. <laughs> or maybe the CIA. I haven't forgotten one yet. J.C. Penny, that's the worst. Hey, can you can you hang on a second? Hey, Mom, do you need help finding something? Well, I'm looking for my big blue gin and tonic cup. The small ones just fall through the sippy cup holders. Do you think it's wise to drink at the playground? Have you been to the park this time of day, Susie? I don't think it wise to go sober. Whoa, this is like mining for diamond armor but smellier. Oh, Theo, no, 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 no. Why do we have kitty litter? Oh, for the cat, dear. You losing it. We don't have a cat. But yes, I am losing it. <sighs> yeah, you're right, I admit it. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna need you to rescue me this weekend. I, I don't know, I need a new hairstyle or new hobby. I, I don't have enough brain power to make a decision either way. Full impact yodel wrestling. That's a great hobby. And as for second. the hair, uh, how about bald with the tattoo of a chipmunk clinging to your scalp? You're welcome. I just love the wrestlers. <laughs> I think their uniforms are dishy. I think I might call for cheerleader. Hey team, what's that sound? Eagles running prey to the ground. <laughs> then shake it. We shake it? Go Grandma! Oh, so you agree? <laughs> hey, I gotta, I gotta let you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. Mom? Are you okay to go to the playground? Well, I'm a good babysitter, Mrs. Um... Mom? Susie, I'm okay. You sure? Well, uh, I get confused sometimes with the time in the year, but they'll be fine with me. They ground me. When it's just me with them, I never get confused. Hell, you call them by the wrong names half the time. You're right. <laughs> You take good care of your grandbabies. I don't, I don't know how you do it, Susie. Taking care of all those babies and me. And it means the world to me. Being here with them and with you. Mom, we're a family. You belong here with us. Your child, you know. Don't tell your brother. I'm an only child, remember? <laughs> I'm just pulling your damn leg. <laughs> Besides, you ruined my uterus, tore that place all up. Mom! I'm taking off with the little beasties now. You get your work done. Yeah, I will. Get my work done, right. Do you look happy? That is because I am a genius. <laughs> we'll tell that to your last report card. <laughs> Please. Grade point averages are Big Brother's way of controlling the masses. More importantly, I'm going to Grammy camp after all. What is this? The answer to all of my problems. Like we can record the performance in front of a live audience and it all goes down three days before the deadline. Look, Pearl. I know you're excited, and you guys are awesome, but, I mean, there's a lot of talent in this state. 
Yeah, but this is my last shot. And I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Oh yeah? Like what? You'll see. Okay. <laughs> well, buckle up. We have four minutes to pick up Frank from Robotics Club. Can't we just leave him with his fellow robots who will actually be happy? <laughs> I thought you guys were getting along. You have to question the values of someone who suddenly respects you after getting busted on school profanity. <laughs> True. Hey, Chris. Hey, man. So you said you had some favor to ask at close? What, more advice about women? Uh, no. You said you had a friend who pays top dollar sports memorabilia, collectibles, that type of thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. What you got? making any real progress here anyways. Um, what's that? We're uh, studying DNA and identity. Part of the project is examples of dominant and recessive factors you get from our parents. And how we're very related to our siblings. Hmm. Sometimes we get the opportunity to educate our teachers. How are you planning on expressing yourself on this? doing research on the majority and minority groups from the area of China I'm from, mm. which is actually really fascinating. I just can't find the right words to relate it to the assignment. Maybe you'll have some interesting perspectives on nature versus nurture. Maybe. So, what's up? I've been thinking about camp. Look, I understand with the move and all, we can't afford it, and I get it. A lot of mouths. I know, I know it's important to you, but yeah, it's been a crazy year. But I don't need lectures on patience. Okay, this year was different. I mean, Tyler freaking Joseph will be there in New York week, and the entire Voluminous Hearts is masterclass in the LA week. I mean, those are two of my biggest influences. Seriously, don't worry about it, okay? I'll figure this out myself. First, I'm not here for a lecture. And second, maybe you don't need to do everything all by yourself. Yeah, okay, I get it. We're all family. Yay. I know you weren't thrilled about, you know, all of this. I know what it's like to want something so bad that you'd sacrifice your left, left hand for it. When, when I was training to become WXC champ, I sacrificed my day job, most of my friends, and my girlfriend. And you won, right? That's that big god he built up at your gym. Yeah. It was. Now it's here, ready to follow a new dream. That's not... Are you serious? That was your dream. Yeah, and now it's yours. I can go visit it on display in LA whenever you become a big rock star. No, you can't do this. I mean, Frank wants that robotics kit and Miles is probably going to get early entry into MIT next year. Uh, that belongs to your kids, not Jesus, me. Pearl, you are my kid. I mean, I, I know Clive is your dad, but you're my family too. Frank's got a part-time job. He's won most of the money he needs. Uh, Miles has got scholarships. Just because you married my mother doesn't mean you have to cut off your left whatever, to help me or my brothers or sisters. I, I didn't marry your mother and end up with the rest of you guys in the bargain. I, 
I fell in love with each and every one of you. I fell in love with the way Emily needs to care for everyone as if her life depended on it. I fell in love with Tony's wit and swagger. Bee's whimsy. <laughs> Don't suppose they made that easy? Are you, are you kidding me? I can't even decide what moment. Maybe a little at your fearlessness. Undoubtedly, standing up to two racist little punks, picking on your sister that you'd known for all of three months. But, without a doubt, the first time I heard you sing and play, it's like you popped into existence from stardust to create art. You're 14 and you create magic in ways I, I could never imagine. I love you, Pearl, including your stubbornness. And I want to do this for you, not because you're Susan's daughter, but because I couldn't love you anymore if I would have been there the moment you were created. Okay, I think everyone's been fed. The keyboard is loaded. We just finished loading up the drums. You ready, Pearl? No. Well, I mean, yeah, maybe. You got this little nugget, and we got you. Thanks, Dylan. Oh, Frank, the, um, yeah, it's fully charged. The camera's fully charged, right? And you have the storage thingy? Chill. Everything's checked and ready to go. Okay. Okay. Let's load everyone up. Everyone check their travel buddies. I forgot my travel buddy. I got you, buddy. You, me, and B. Let's go. Um, what is she doing here? I don't know. Lila Jean, this is my sorority sister, Bitsy Snowden, the new CEO of Snowden Meats. It is such a pleasure to meet you. And you. After the show, I have a few juicy college stories about your aunt. And that you wouldn't dare, actually. <laughs> <laughs> on second thought, you probably have a few stories on me as well. This is Paul DeVille of DeVille Real Estate. Charmed. I look forward to hearing you play. Pleasure is all mine. Mm -hmm. And he's also a member of the club with me. Oh, and I've had the pleasure of getting in the way of her golf slice. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm not that bad. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome everybody, hi. Before we begin, we're about to start. I'd like to ask everyone to turn off your cell phones, please. Do you know if Grandpa's here yet? No airplane mode business, no I don't know. No, Mom, are we saving the seat for G-Pop? Um, um, also, there will be no entering or exiting during uh, No, he's taken in. It's about a half hour out still, so. Results online, social media, texting, nothing. Please, no sharing until Friday when the show airs on TV 18 White Murdoch Cable, okay? And we are going live in five. Welcome, friends, to the first annual State Youth Talent Competition. Everything's so so fun. Nobody's safe, but we care for none. You spread your arms across that tree. I'll spread your love you gave to me. song, you're on deck in five. We're next, are you ready? I think only two more acts after us, so assuming I don't face plan, I think we have a good shot. Okay. Bye. 
Are you Dr. Bunsen? Well, yes I am, young lady. I loved your show. Can I have your autograph? Well, sure. You have a pen? Oh. Here you go. Thanks. What's your name? Laura. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. But that's the autograph you should be getting. Pearl Song. She's my granddaughter. Hi, everyone. Hi, it's me again. <laughs> um, just a quick note. I've been informed that our next act has a change in name. Instead of the Pearl Song Band, please welcome the United Colors of Bennett Song. We are stars beneath the sky. We are roots beneath the stone. We offer up our lives We offer up our bones Each one of us different Yet so much the same We weather the sunshine and the rain Through seasons of heartache Seasons of change Somehow we stay beneath the stone You're really good. Thank you. I'd say you're the best so far, but I'm up next, so... I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, break a leg. Thanks. I think we have the same voice teacher. Miss Bartel, right? Yeah. She mentioned another one of her students is applying for Grammy. Yeah, well, that, that's me. <laughs> so, 
Uh, how do you know Stevie Hawkins White? She's my aunt. Hmm. You, you must be her neighbors. <laughs> I've heard all about your family. It's <laughs> <laughs> kind of crazy. Lila Jane, you're on deck. Uh, well, um, I'm up. Best for last, I guess. <laughs> Kidding. Do you guys want to watch it? I'm still freaking out from our performance. I mean, did you see that standing ovation? I seriously think we've got this unless she's really, really good. We work together endlessly. We're bound forever. Hold me close. Don't let me go. We fight sometimes. We kiss and make up. Epic high. Technically bad luck to say good luck. Really? Place prize of two hundred dollars and dinner for four at Lucas Steak Palace goes to. Let's hear it for the magic of Kent Michaels, everybody. <laughs> and finally, one of these next two acts will win our second place prize of two hundred fifty dollars and dinner for four at Costa's Italian Villa, and the other will win our grand prize of $2,500 and a three-month supply of meats for the whole family from Snowden Meats. Second place goes to... Oh, I could puke. <laughs> the United Colors of Bennett song. <laughs> and our big winner is... Miss Lila Jane. Everybody, one more round of applause for our big winners. Sorry, sweet. You guys were awesome. Great. You really were extraordinary. Thank you. You got my vote, kiddo. Keep up the good work. Very nice. Mr. Bennett, a word please. Sure. This is Paul DeVille. He's one of the judges of the talent show. Mr. Bennett, it's been brought to our attention that this young man videotaped portions of the show. Uh, yeah, what's the problem? Well, the application and program stipulate that uh, the show or results uh, couldn't be taped without permission from the committee, due to the risk that it would air before the actual TV debut. But other parents were taping. Well, I, I don't know about any others, but uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to confiscate the drive. You can file the paperwork online today for clearance. What? I mean, can we, can we do it here and now? We don't have any of the paperwork here. No, I need that footage edited two days from now. We won't post it anywhere, I swear. I can't do anything. Mom? Oh, my God. Stevie, I can personally deliver the form to you tonight. Can we, I mean, surely you can provide that clearance? I can't tonight. I'm sorry. Dylan, will you help me with that keyboard? Sure, girl. Let's go. What, what are we gonna do? Well, there's my.
my little rock star. And up by the crack of noon. <laughs> it's spring break. You're lucky the sun's still up. Ah, uh, to be a teenager. <laughs> you know, I'm very proud of what you did yesterday. But I lost. And I needed that money even more. I needed that video. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way. But you created art out of thin air. And you did it with people you love. Yeah. I, I get it. Process is more important than the result. Pearl? Pearl. <laughs> art gives a voice to the voiceless. It opens minds and hearts to progress and healing. It inspires. It unites. We need our stories, our songs, to help us through tough times. Just as we need our family to lean on when times are tough. And guess what, kiddo? You have both. Yeah, but all I did was write a song and perform it in a talent show, which I lost. Hello, Earth to Pearl. Have you heard anything I've been saying here? Pearl, you did so much more. My show is on for a long time. It still is. And many people think Dr. Bunsen was all fluff. Not to kids. To the kids. I was the voice of support and authority, a kind adult with answers. I made a difference, and so can you. I never really thought about that, but I mean, I can see that in your fans. Hey, if I spend the rest of my days doing community theater or occasional bedpan commercial, I'll still be taking my audience on a journey because it's not about winning or losing. It's about making something that didn't exist before mean something to others. It's about sharing our dreams, our songs with our audience. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Gee, Pa. <laughs> It's all in a day's work. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment to help your brother Patrick with a dilemma. It seems that he's got a crush on a brunette cutie at school. I don't have a brother named Patrick. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Really? I mean, blonde, curly-headed, 16, usually wears a ball cap. That's Patrick King. He lives like a block over. He's not my grandson. No. <laughs> oh well. Chase is always on the case. I go where I'm needed. Excuse me, Mrs. Bennett. It's Doctor, actually. Dr. Bennett Song. Okay. Look, I went through a lot of trouble to get you this file. It's been three days. Did you get my texts? My emails? You should be thanking me. I'm sure. And this would have been great yesterday, before today's delivery deadline. Look, I know we haven't gotten along on the best foot. But I'm on my way to the mayor's right now to speak to him about the noise ordinance. We don't run halfway houses here. Well, I'm sorry, did you just call my family a halfway house? I, I didn't mean it like that. No, no, no. Did you or did you are you say you're going to the mayor right now? Yeah, I have a private meeting. Uh, you know what, you're right. We digged it off on the wrong foot, and we're going to try to be better neighbors. But, um, it's, it's quite the scorcher today. Could I send you off with a cup of the Bennett's famous blackberry tea? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Cool, all right. Hey, uh, Pearl, come here for a sec. I'm not gonna step into that and get chipped to Burma, am I? 
Don't give me any ideas. I just want to show you something. You've hacked Noah. I don't want my help stopping global thermonuclear war. Again with the ideas. Just come here. All right. Well, you know how you told me to upload your video a month ago? I haven't watched it lately, but sure. Well, I did a little demographic research and developed my own algorithms. And, uh, watch this. Wait. Wait. That, that, that's, that can't be right. It's right. That's six million views, Frank. <laughs> well, guess what? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not finished yet. Once it hit a million views, I was able to sell ad space. And as of this morning, we have made $2,435. <laughs> Yeah, without even selling Dad's belt, you can still afford to pay for your camp. But... It's too late. With my band out of town, I had to send in some lame solo tape and I didn't get accepted. Sorry, I... didn't know. Do you realize what you've done? Our camp doesn't even... Y you put my music in the ears of six million people, Frank. That's amazing! And... You, know, you keep the money, alright? I have 11 months till next year and... Apparently, six million new fans. That's not the end of it. How can this day get any better? Well, I got this email from the Sunshine Maddox Show. What? Read this. Dear Mr. Bennett, we at the sunshine in the morning, blah, 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 blah. We loved your video and would like your band and family to appear on the show in the next few weeks? Oh my gosh, Frank! Dude, this is amazing! <laughs> uh, Frank? Yeah? Two things. One, thank you so much. You're welcome. And two, please don't tell me when I hugged you. Not a chance. <laughs> yes, yes I have been, but... Well, no. I mean... What? Hey, babe, everybody's in the car, you ready to go? I'll be there in a second. Okay. Are you sure? Okay. I'm leaving town. I'll see you on Thursday. before that astounding performance, just how this lovely family came to be. And I hear that you wrote that song, and I hear you've written several, is that right? Yes, ma'am, and <laughs> quite a few. Well, that's impressive. And you want to be a singer-songwriter? Absolutely, but I, well, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for my computer whiz brother. Ah, so you're the reason. Well, you and your sister must be very close. <laughs> no, we actually uh, didn't go along at all at first. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, no, but she's okay now. She stood up for my little sister and uh, called some bully. I don't think we need to hear that story here today. <laughs> well, this family is full of surprises. And we love surprises here at Sunshine in the Morning, don't we, audience? <laughs> Well, first we heard that transportation is a challenge. So, back home, we have two vans with seating for 18. Oh. Oh. Hey. And all Pearl could talk about was her brother's incredible software invention. So, with her help, 
we have an offer from JQ Robotics for an internship working with the company to develop his software to launch worldwide. Oh. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Thank you. And now I understand that you have one in college and seven more in the next six years. Is that right? Um, I haven't, I haven't done that math just yet. Well, one of our sponsors, Freeman International Textiles, would like to hire you for a series of ads for their international-inspired clothing line, Gypsy Chic, and they'd like to pay you with a $150,000 college fund. <laughs> so, now besides all the tech help, we do know that this all started with the dream of a 14-year-old girl. Is that right? Well, 15 now, and I did originally for a spot at uh, Grammy camp, but I mean, <laughs> this is the best day of my life. I <laughs> Mom, do you have what we asked you to bring? I sure do. So we made a call to a few of our friends and we shared your video. And when your family flies home in two days, you'll be staying here in New York to begin your first week of camp. Do I you for real? <laughs> well, we just love surprises, right audience? Now I'd just like to take this moment to thank the lovely United Colors of Bennett Song and Family for gracing our stage with their talents today. Oh. I'm sorry, I forgot. We have one more gift for you from one of our sponsors. Okay, I get this one. A private jet for our family to fly around on. Yeah. 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 Right? No, this is a tiny one. We have a $2,000 gift card from Blushing Babies Furniture and More. Um, our... Our youngest is four? I mean, thank you. But I don't even really see how... Oh, unless you... <laughs> You're gonna be a big sister, Billy. I am. I'd be a good big sister, just like her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> Oh, I, I got an A on my science project, but honestly, I, I can't say I know a whole lot about DNA and how it shapes our identity. I do agree with my teacher that it's hard to look at families and be able to argue against some higher power at work, that it can't all be chemistry. Science may eventually come up with all the explanations, but that doesn't deny the existence of miracles in my book. Most of my classmates focused on their eyes, ears, noses, mouths, in showing how their identity was carved from generations of family DNA. My biological parents gave me the greatest gift of all. What I got from their sacrifice is this Do we have a cat? <laughs> crazy, chaotic miracle of love that is my family. <laughs> There's no denying that wherever I go and whatever I create in this world, they are the biggest part of who I am. We are the first upon the sand, seeking answers in the dark. We create the future with our Kenya and a brother from Romania. 
Now here's some knowledge from my sister from Albania. So many siblings from Mumbai to Guatemala, Syria, Russia, China, Congo, Colombiana. But no matter where we came from, our hearts all beat as one. Who you love or what you look like, you're never alone. When we see the world in black and white, life is so much duller. It's so much sweeter when we live and live in color. Just more you miss.